How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Lives of P. So we basically finished up uh, Vanini Workshop. Uh, so we are activating uh, our two quartz that we have to gain an additional pulse cell for Paris well for the boss fight that we have ahead. Uh, so we're going to increase the stagger the stagger duration as well as enhanced guard regain. So this will open up the second tier uh, so we can gain more pulse cells, amulet slot, I would suggest rising dodge. And we are gonna be going for that one later on before a uh, upcoming boss. So grab that stuff. And we are ready to take on Uoko, boss of Vanini Works. Like I said before, he's basically like a big furnace. Um, he has uh, a, almost like a steam press for an arm. And then he can uh, kind of do some fire projectiles from his other arm, as well as uh, kind of like a flamethrower. Um, he has a couple of red attacks you want to look out for, uh, one of which is pretty easily uh, avoided by going to the going to the right uh, to your right of him. Uh, so we're gonna also put on uh, these to remove uh, overheat because in his second phase, when that starts up, he does like a fire AOE on the uh, on the ground and. Depending how close you are to him, I, I typically just beat on him during that uh, when he starts that up, but uh, it will pretty much proc overheat on you right away. Uh, so it's up to you. You can run away, but it is it does take up a, a fair amount of uh, space on the floor. Uh, so we're actually gonna use uh, summon again uh, to make this fight easier. Um, he also has some attacks where. Um, like I said, that first red attack, you can go to the to uh, to your right uh, to avoid that and kind of beat, run after him, beat on him. Um, then the other red attack he has, he does have good tracking on. He will slam his like steam press arm down. Uh, so you either want to be out of range or do a perfect guard on that. Uh, his other moves, he has uh, a kick, uh, some other slams. Uh, with a steam press arm, and he also, yeah, that's the steam press arm there. Uh, he also will uh, do like a, a spin the wind on the ground. That can be followed up by two other ones. Okay, so this is the red attack. You can punish, you can run after him, beat on him. Spin the wind, eat. Yep. Yeah. yeah, here's the triple right there. So you want to guard that. Or you can dodge through it too. It's a little bit tricky to do so, but. Yep, yeah, there's one slam. Swipes up and then slams down like that. So I think I. If I haven't mentioned it before, I mean, obviously he's a puppet, so Electric is going to do well here. Uh, electric does well against other, any enemy uh, because it builds up the stagger meter. Uh, I thought he was going into second phase, so I backed off. Yeah, here he goes. So, yeah. So you see how much of the floor is taken up by that? So now he's gonna start uh, shooting uh, oil and some other projectiles that kinda hurt, so you gotta watch out. Uh, if he does the flamethrower attack, you can basically come right up on him and it's gonna go over your head. Yeah, see these projectiles hurt, so you gotta be careful. Let's run after him for that. I went to the left that time because I didn't have any room, but typically if you do that, you're going to get hit. 
There he goes with the oil balls. Oh! Damn. He caught me with those. Okay. So it's just, uh, it's just a matter of time to learn the boss moves. Um, whether you take that time to learn by yourself and then use the specter to kind of help out, um, completely up to you. Uh, most bosses in this game, I will say, have two phases, whether they have one health bar or two separate ones. Uh, so like the ones that have two separate health bars, obviously, it's helpful to use the Spectre to try and burn through the first phase as quickly as possible. You have your healing for the second phase. So, here's that red attack we can beat on him. And he's gonna go in the second phase here. Yeah, so you see how that how quickly that overheat procs. Spectre's dead, but that's alright. Okay, avoid that. Watch out for those projectiles. Got greedy there. Like I said, if you stay right up on him, those, uh, as long as he doesn't jump backwards, those, uh, those projectiles shouldn't be too bad. They'll kind of go right over your head. As well as the flamethrower. Okay. Trying to get a charge attack on him. Oh, doing his overheat again. Alright, we got him. Although, <laughs> I'm out of heals. Wow, and the overheat got me. That's funny. I really have never seen him kind of do that, uh, that fire AOE on the floor multiple times during the fight. At least, I don't think anyway. I don't remember from the first time I fought him if he did that multiple times. But anyway, we got him down. So the the room is open. That definitely that definitely counted. So we're good. All right. So there's a stargazer in here now. Oh, you know. Also, what's funny? Is I think yeah. Pulchinella would be right over here after the boss, but. Now that I died, looks like the it's reset. Uh, so let's warp back to where Benini was. Talk to him. Man, that was pretty funny. Killed him, and then I I got taken by the overheat. Ah, you're back, and you found. Oh, dear. Pulcinella. They really did a number on you. Pulcinella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I have revived him. But there will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. The factory is ours again. The puppets are going to be in really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. Okay. I cannot shake the thought of that puppet army. What they meant to do. The 
The cathedral is filled with refugees. People who thought they were safe. But that's for the future to solve. Maintenance must come first. See you at Hotel Krat. Arrivederci. I cannot shake the... That's okay. for the... So his dialogue is done. Um, Vanini talks a lot, so you may see me kind of skip through his stuff sometimes. Him and the King of Riddles like to talk a lot. So we're going to go back to the hotel, and he's going to set up shop in there. We can talk to him and Pulcinella and get prepped for our next leg of our journey. I'll so. use my power to help you. Sophia first. I am able Power. to wield Ergo. They call me a listener because I can hear Ergo. I inherited the power from my mother, who hated it, called it the devil's power. So I kept it a secret that I could talk to puppets. Now you are the only one my voice reaches. So I beg you, please. Save Krat. Okay. I'll use my power. All right. So we are going to start pumping capacity, like I said. My savior. All right, so there he is. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, my friend. Start to pull the miller first. And welcome to the House of Vanini. The House of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the House of Vanini, even priceless things. So we can buy cranks, balance, advance, motivity, technique, as well as some liners and a electric blitz grindstone. So if you are using not a elemental weapon like I am, you can apply, you will now be able to apply, um, use your grindstone to apply electric blitz and, uh, flame to your weapon. At the house of Vanini. So I'm going to buy all those up. Talk there to There you are, my Nini. boy. My savior, yes. That's the word. You took back the factory and I cannot thank you enough. Without the factory... No more new puppets. The army has run out of recruits. My friend, you saved... Well, all of us. Ah, but listen to me going on and on about... If the name Venini rings no bell... While I sincerely believe me, it's a grinder stone that keeps granting... Okay, so we got the grinder modification tool. So basically, he gives you the flame grindstone. Um, and, and then you can buy the electric blitz one that I did, like I, I just did. Imagined I'd actually... I just designed it, set it aside. And... You are real. I will also add what we. Okay. I always welcome friend. So you can switch that here. <laughs> of course, you're curious. Pulcinella, like you I ever said, he's it? gonna talk a I lot here, so I'm just friends. gonna speed through this. You guys can do this at your leisure. No one. Not even as it was never. Puppet armies do not arrive. I... Okay. So you can also change the grindstone at um, at the stargazers. Okay. So now we can switch Legion Arm, but also we can craft and modify. So we are going to craft the Flamberish. We get a special item that we can craft that from Fuoko. So 
So these are all the Legion arms that we're going to get access to. Pandemonium, Aegis, Falcon Eyes. Do Ex Machina. I'm going to get Falcon Eyes for now. And I am also, we have one Legion Caliber, which Legion Calibers upgrade uh, the Legion Arms. So I'm going to extend the Flamberge. Flamberge I used I pretty exclusively in my first playthrough. And where we're going, that's going to be pretty useful. So pretty soon we're going to come across enemies that do not do not like fire so it's going to be pretty invaluable remember yeah, let's talk to Geppetto I didn't design every puppet in Krat it is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the grand covenant i've no idea how many I remember a few ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? The city has asked me any... Yeah. That's his dialogue for now. little odd that uh, there's nothing about Vanini with him since we just saved him, but it is Geppetto after all. Okay, so we're going back to the boss room and continuing on. Got a short little section um, we can push through to the next Stargazer and we'll probably call it a call it an episode there so we're still going to be going against some puppets at this point so keeping the electric coil on okay so careful of those barrels they do explode if you walk into them they'll kind of blow up, so be wary. Okay. So a few puppets over here. Behind this mining cart, one is gonna stand up, so be aware. Try and maneuver around those barrels. Now, this guy is gonna be an idiot and <laughs> do that. So moving through this little section kind of reminds me of Stonefang Tunnel a little bit. The mining carts and all. Going to take care of this guy. Need to blow up that thing before we move across. There is the guy over there who's going to, yep, do that. Run across, take care of him. 
There is another one up above doing that as well. Um, the thermite. Now, there are a few guys up here, so just be wary. We're going to stand up and take care of those guys as we can. Now in here we have the big pipe wrench. Pretty good damage reduction on this good strength weapon. Scales with a B, seventy-five or yeah, seventy-three damage reduction. So patient smash. You can hold the button down and payback swing. Use it immediately after guarding. For the fable arts it is pretty slow but that damage reduction i mean 73 percent is pretty damn good like i said i am normally a strength guy but the i don't know the strength weapons in this are pretty slow i feel like this this game lends itself to for technique builds fast weapons For me to say that is uh, pretty big. So. We got a few guys down here. Okay, some hidden moonstones. And there's gonna be a trap right here, so kinda. Dance in front of this. Let this guy charge out. Take care of him. Grab that. And that. And back here is going to be a Dark Moon Moonstone. Now those upgrade special weapons like boss weapons, which we haven't met the vendor that does the creation of boss weapons yet, but we will pretty soon. So... Hold on to those. We got another shovel friend over here. Now, if you're running low on healing, you can run past him. Uh, he does run pretty quick, so he might catch up to you. So you just gotta be careful of that. Um, there is a stargazer directly behind him in case you are running low on healing. Careful of that slam. Dodge out of the way of that. There go, nice charge attack. got a carrier's amulet, which is increase your weight limit, which is very good. In case you want to rock some heavy weapons, that is going to be your amulet. Essentially your Havel's ring of Lies of Pete. All right. So we've made it to Moonlight Town think that is where we're going to call it a part here. Um, the next part, there is, this is a pretty short section leading up to the cathedral, so stay tuned for that. We will continue on the next one, so hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you.